Matt, brand new machine to Star's range. This is the SR38J. Firstly, tell us uh, why this machine has been introduced into the portfolio. Okay. We needed a, a more basic 38 millimeter machine because all the other ones, it's either a triple turret machine or it's machines with B-axis. So not everyone needs those features. They just want to basically do cross working and turning a big diameter bar. Uh, what always fascinates me is you, you, you label this the 38, but it does go much bigger in bar capacity as well. Why do they not label them as, as 42? Because is that, isn't that what you can do on here? We can't do 42 millimeter bar, but it, only without the guide bush, so it's labeled the 38 with a guide bush. Would you predominantly be using this machine with a guide bush, do you think? Yeah, it's, I mean, the other thing is it's going to be customer dependent as well. How long does it take to change the guide bush on your machines, Matt? It's roughly about a half hour with practice. So the, the, what, what have they taken off of this machine, or, or say, off of the 38 mil range, and what are you left with here on this SR38J, which makes it uh, more economical? Okay, well let's start with obviously on the main plat, and so you don't have the B axis, but you still got a fair number of like uh, cross working tools. You got you know, five positions instead of like uh, the uh, six before. There's um, two cartridge units in there, so obviously you can put different tool holders in for any specific type of work. So like in this instance, we've got a uh, face milling uh, unit in there. You've still got quite a lot of turning tools, but there's no balanced turning feature like on the other SR38 range. But like you say, if you wanted that, you'd just go for the other machine. So upgrade to another, yeah, the better machine. What about the power of the machine? It's cutting performance. So that hasn't changed. So we're still using the same spindle. So you've got 11 kilowatt main spindle, so a lot of power for this type of machine. You've still got the same live tool power as well. Um, on the back end, you've got less tools compared to the other SR38 range. So there's only four tools and there's no wire access on here. And how about other options that may you may need on this machine, like high pressure cooler and like what we talk about here, HFT, are they all, uh, do they all come with the machine? Yeah, absolutely. So the machine's high pressure cooling ready. So if you have jobs that need that high pressure coolant, you can fit a pump onto there, no problem at all. And with all the stars, new, especially new ones, it's all HFT ready as well. How popular do you think this machine's going to be? Do you think it's going to take business away from your other 38 mil machines? I think it's going to give us access to new areas where people looked at the other SR38 and thought, I don't need a B-axis, I don't need band turning. And it's a, a lower price point on this machine, so I think it's going to get us into new places.